stopped the run of play after Rudin conceded a free kick. Marth took the kick and Perosh coughed up an easy rebound for David Savinsky. Otherwise it was one way traffic for Sydney United and within eight minutes the scores were level. Ante Milicic was at his brilliant best. United played some neat football. Ante Moric was involved in most of the good things and came close to scoring. But then Robert Ennish committed the first of two misdemeanours that would ultimately ruin United's chances. He earned a yellow for impeding Adrian Savinsky. Ennish was still on the park to set up Moritz for a wonderful long-range effort in the 37th minute. That goal put United in the lead. But a minute later, all the good work was undone. Enesh encroached within 10 metres to delay a Knights free kick and earned a second yellow from referee Simon Mikulev. It was a harsh but correct ruling by the referee. The only trouble was he was far too lenient over Andrew Marth's over-the-ball tackle on Mark Babbage. Mikulev awarded a free kick but not a yellow card. In the second half, the Knights made the most of their numerical advantage, aided by some curious defending from United. Kutlasovsky made it 2-2 after 55 minutes, and all United could do was try to hang on. The home team battled bravely and should have gone back into the lead. Moritz was again the inspiration, but Le Mans header was timid. Marth was still terrorising United, but again his tackling was a little too aggressive. He was finally cautioned, but if justice was done, it should have been a red, not a yellow. To rub salt into the wounds, it was Marth who scored the vital goal, five minutes from full time. The Knights leading 3-2. The fourth goal two minutes later gave the Knights a flattering scoreline and left the home supporters seething at the inconsistency of the referee. A turbulent game here at Denzel Park. I'm sure the winning coach Ian Dobson delighted with the 4-2 scoreline. But Ian, after illnesses today, a few injuries, away from home, three points must be a great bonus. That's been the story of the season so far since I've taken all the nice his, his illnesses and people being aware of the Olympic uh, team. So look, it's important that we come here and get three points and it was great to go back to Melbourne with those three points. The send-off of Robert Ernst in the first half obviously was the turning point. Up until then, you were losing 2-1 and you didn't look to be in the game. No, City United actually gave us a football lesson for the first half an hour until that sending off, which changed the game. Um, but we looked flat right across the, you know, the team. It wasn't one particular person. So, um, look, th that decision obviously by the referee changed the game and uh, we actually took advantage of the uh, 10 men, which can also sometimes go against you. Yeah, you did very well. Branko Kalina will bring you in on that point. Obviously, the send-off, Ian Dobson's given you a big, giving you a big uh, uh, boost there, saying you gave them a footballing lesson in the first half hour. But obviously, Robert Ennish leaving the, the park changed the game totally. Yeah, that was the turning point and uh, made it difficult for us thereafter. So, uh, what can you say? We've had uh, that's been a story of our life, of our season so far this year. Um, but full credit to Melbourne Knights, they really um, worked hard and got back into the game. Do you dispute the fact that Enish deserved the red card for his second professional offence in three minutes? Look, I haven't got enough money to be able to pay for all the fines that Soccer Australia is likely to dish out if I make a comment about referees. So those that are smart, intelligent enough to read in between the lines, what I have to say. OK, let's talk about Monday very quickly. Danny Tiato back in the country tomorrow. Lube Lapshansky uh, clear of suspension. What other injuries today will affect your selection Monday? 
There's real no injuries. Uh, there isn't any actually. We've uh, come out of it quite well, injury free. Uh, there's one or two slight knocks, but um, we'll have a training session tomorrow in Melbourne and uh, they'll be just loosened off and getting out of out the system. So we're looking to bring fresh players in if possible for uh, the game against Morwell. So maybe Tiato and Lepchansky back? There's a possibility. Okay, you get Tony Popovich back, Branko Kalina, but obviously lose Ennis and that's uh, like back to square one, two of your generals, one missing today, one will be missing Monday. Yeah, again, I just, uh, as I said, a bit repeat of what's been happening to us all year. We've never had the, the, the best available side on the park all season, and that's been a problem for us. But we've got problems with injuries as well. Both Ante Moric and Ante Milicic had to come off um, due to injuries. Robbie Enish being off. Mark Babich is carrying an ankle injury. So we're full of uh, problems with injuries. But uh, look, we'll just have to do the best we can against Sydney Olympic. OK, Branko, thank you for your time. Ian Dobson, thank you very much. Good luck on Monday, gentlemen. Oh, that's all from Adenzo Park, where the final score was... Melbourne Knights 4, Sydney United 2.